it's never easy for change. It's not easy for yourself, your family, sometimes your team or your clients. But I think you have to think about what brought you into the industry to begin with. And are you with a firm today that is the same firm that aligns with what brought you into the industry and where you thought you could succeed and thrive? I was happy at my previous firm. I had a pretty good internal profile. I was tapped to lead uh, what's called the Advisory Council to Management, so I was actually representing all of the advisors at the firm. The culture was great, but you know that started changing. You know, I looked at various firms and Morgan Stanley made the most sense. I was at my prior firm for almost 30 years. I never thought I would leave. And one of the challenges we had at the prior firm was that you kind of had to stick with who they offered for certain services. And there were a lot of restrictions in that way. And it's not competitive. They say no, it's no where other banks might say yes, and we would have clients go to other banks, and, and it would take away from that relationship and trust because we're full service. Whether our firm was gonna be full service or not, we do everything for our clients. I felt that I had to make the move for my clients. I really had a great experience working there and was very happy and very satisfied and grateful uh, you know, for the time that we were there. But in the last several years, the culture changed dramatically. And it really shifted away from an advisory and a service culture to more of a sales and a product culture. When we started looking, we didn't have any preconceived ideas about where we were going. We said, let's look and see what's out there, what these different firms offer, what their culture's like, how they resource the offices with technology? Is it decentralized from a decision standpoint? Do you have support? And so when we found that at Morgan Stanley and we looked at the breadth of the products and the services that we could deliver, it was attractive. We started to say, it's remarkable we've been able to do what we've done over here. Let's get to the better firm. Let's get to the best. Here, wealth is over 50% of the firm's bottom line. Our prior firm, Wealth, was 13%. And it shows in everything that we do here. Not only in the strategy and the culture, but in the resources and the allocation of resources to support those businesses. And that's what made my prior firm originally so unique. But then once it became 13% of a much larger financial services company's bottom line, it showed. And, and candidly, the firm treated our business unit in a way that it viewed as a risk, not as an asset. Here, it's an asset, and it leads. Everything this firm does, it's leading with wealth management. If you're an advisor, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that culture? We're getting accounts open within 10 minutes, and we're setting everything via e-signature. I mean, we're making this easy for clients. Um, so I didn't think we would have this much success. Am I surprised by it? I'm not. It's a combination of the process that we have as well as a Morgan Stanley brand and us being able to utilize the technology that's offered to us. They give you a choice in if you need trust services, they give you a choice in banking and lending, they give you choice in money managers. You don't have to stick to, you know, this is the track you're on or else. You want to do your business the way it should be done. If you don't have the tools to be able to dismantle or switch and change things, your business is gonna suffer. I think every advisor, every practitioner has to really think about the world that they occupy in the following way. How much of their time do they spend on client, business, or firm? And if, if the answer is you're spending more time on the firm than your client or your practice, then I think you have to really have a long, hard conversation with yourself, your family, your partners, and make a decision. And again, if status quo is, is what you're focused on, then I think you can respect that and accept the firm and the strategy for what it is. But if you want a different opportunity, turn the page on what I think is probably gonna be the most exciting opportunity in your life, then I think Morgan Stanley is worth a conversation.